What's up guys, I'm back and we're looking at Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles once again. Um, I took a little break last weekend off the turtles and yeah, I've been taking a break off the turtles for a while so I wanted to bring it back because I know a lot of you are watching me just for turtles. Like get these dinosaurs out of here bro, I don't care about custom robots, I want turtles, show me turtles, I'm showing ya. Jeez, don't yell at me. Okay, um, so we got the Mutant Mayhems versus the Best Actions. I'm not going to be saying these are better, these are worse. I'm just going to be calling out all the differences and give you my personal opinion on which ones I like better. Which ones I like better over. Okay? Um, so that being said, I'm prepping for the movie. I'm really excited for this movie. I hope it's good. I really do hope it's good. And if it's not, I'm okay that I have the figure still. I'm okay with it because I like these better than I like the freaking, uh, whatchamacallit, uh, 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 Michael Bay ones. That's for sure. I'll take these over the Michael Bay ones anyway. That's right. That's right. I said it. I said it out loud. I'm proud of it. There's a lot of you going, oh, that's, that's, that's freaking like, that's, dude, that's heresy. Don't say that. No, I'm telling you, I would take, take these any day over the freaking Michael Bay ones. They're millions times better. All right, so I'm just looking at them right now. Let's get the Donatello here. Let's put them next to each other because this is what it's about. I put April O'Neil's headphones on Donatello over here. On the 1987 Donatello, the cartoon one, the best action one. There you go, the best action Donatello. And you know, obviously there are different figures and there are different styles all different all over the place the only similarity they got going on for them right now visually is the purple and I guess obviously the fact that they look like turtles that have you know become walking talking teenagers okay so I, I personally like the way the the mutant mayhems look better as a figure because they look exactly the way they look from the movie like exactly the face especially I just I was so shocked this is 10 bucks all four of these 10 bucks target all four of these many different places anywhere between 13 to about 20 bucks I've seen them as high go for 20 as the highest they've gone for is 20 that's what I was trying to say and then the lowest I've seen them go for is 13 that's what I got them for on Amazon uh, a few a, a while ago, many months ago, um, got them for like 13 bucks, more or less, maybe a little more. I don't know. I got to check my own reviews, but I didn't pay that much for them. And, you know, they don't look that pretty, but they make up for it with their accessories big time. So that's, that's my opinion on that. Um, I just like the way they look better as a figure, but I like the way they come with more stuff. Okay, and I also like that these best actions articulate just a little better, a lot better, to be honest with you. I mean, I'm able to do some crazy stuff with these turtles because of the ankle movement right here, you know, and it turns and it rotates, ankle movement and rotation. These turtles do not have ankle movement. So that's a major difference in articulation right there. They only have rotation. They do have the knees articulated. So that's good, right? Because it's usually like a stiff leg with these kind of cheap $10 figures and it's just like, it goes like that. But no, they actually went ahead and put articulation. They even put the nub holes there for later on in case you get one of the, you know, like the packs or the, the giant play set which I'm not getting. In case anybody's wondering, I'm not getting that. Nah, I'm good. I'm a big kid, but I, you know, it's, I'm not playing with these things. I'm showing them off and then le letting them collect dust in the display case. I'm kidding about the dust, but you know what I mean? Like, I, <laughs> So, um, yeah. Articulation definitely goes better to the best action. Now, that being said, I can still articulate Mutant Mayhem. I can still articulate them very well. You know what I'm saying? It's just what you want to do and what you're trying to accomplish. Oh yeah. All right. 
Um, and like I said, the legs articulate very well as well. Like, look at that. That's pretty good for a $10 figure, guys. Especially the fact that it's still, it's not like, I was going to say it's not like minusing anything to add on to other things because it is technically at minusing articulation. And I guess maybe the quality of the plastic because I've noticed a lot of them have these marks there from when they were on the grid before they got popped off their grid and then, you know, put in the packages. A lot of them have that, but you know what? Do you know what? I think I've seen that on one of these too. Yup, right there. So it's the same kind of like quality of cheap plastic that they're using for these figures. They just put a little more love into the articulation for the uh, best action. And then just made them slightly taller, you know, but to each his own. I think they're both awesome figures. Look at that. It took me a while to grow on uh, Mikey here because this look from Mikey is just so different for me. Like, very goofy. But it's growing on me now, I have to say. And I like the green that they did for him. Like, just, like, just look at this. Tell me which is a better painted figure right now. Just tell me. You tell me. Which looks better painted? And even if this isn't painted, even if that green is just a plastic itself, it still looks better than this green. Now this is supposed to be representing the 1987 cartoon. Meanwhile, it's giving vibes off the video game. And honestly, for, you know, over 10 bucks, we're talking 13 and up, they could have done a better job on the quality of the face mold, but they had to subtract somewhere, right? They didn't do that here though, and this is only 10 bucks. So for 10 bucks, you get a mold face that looks exactly the way it looks from the freaking movie. Like exactly. <laughs> they did not spare no expense with that. Yep, John Hammond, I just said it. Now, their articulation isn't as good. That's the catch, you know, like they don't they have no wrist articulation, just wrist rotation. But they still have elbow articulation, wrist and elbow rotation, shoulder rotation, and shoulder articulation, you know? So you could still get them doing some dope poses. These freaking nunchucks suck, in my opinion. I hate them so much. I hate the way they look. I hate this chain. I've seen uh, somebody on one of the Facebook groups. Uh, I think it was... Uh, Oof, I forget what group it was. I think it was NECA Turtle Lair. Shout out to NECA Turtle Lair. Um, somebody posted a picture of them customizing this guy with actual chain, like real life chain attachments for the, the nunchucks. I was very impressed with that. So I'm not doing that. I'm not on that level of uh, customizing, but it was cool. It was cool and I appreciate it very much. This guy right here, look at this, look at this, look at this freaking accessories here, man. Like, they're also not that great, but I like the way these look better than those, you know? Um, they're just cheap rubbery, but still, much better articulation, has feet articulation and wrist articulation. Whoa, dude. So, yeah, that's my take on them right now. So what I'm going to do right now, since I've gone over their articulation already, is just give you like some full pan, like just not pans. What am I saying? Like, I'm going to just show them up close so you can see them. I got lucky on this Raphael for many reasons. There's about three versions of this Raphael going on, going around out there right now. This is one of them, brown patch, big R. The next one is black patch, big R. And the final one is black patch, little R. So yeah, heads up. There's three different versions of the refs out there from Mutant Mayhem. Now, this is probably the widest mold out of all of the Mutant Mayhems. So I've noticed that these three right here share the same 
like mold for the shell, but Raph is wider. His arms are thicker. His legs are thicker. And his shell is much wider. It's just much wider. Not the same mold. The rest of them, I think for sure, Donnie and Leo are the same mold, just slightly, you know, adjusted shade of shades of green and differences. But this right here, this guy right here, he's definitely shorter legs. Same shell from them two, but he's got shorter legs, so he's not. He doesn't have the same legs, and obviously different color skin tone. Um, probably the best color skin tone out of all of them. That's my favorite green out of all the turtles. I love it. Mikey looks great. Back to Raph. Um, so the reason why I did all that is because I wanted to show how like wide this Raph is and how close he is to like the width of the best action. Like, in fact, yeah, his shell is bigger. You Mayhem may be shorter. Let me get him on a flat surface there. He may be shorter, but he's got a bigger shell, a much bigger shell, and you know, I guess that's what April said, right? I don't know. I'm making this up as I'm going along. So, um, it took me a while to get used to this bandana look, but I got used to it. I am still not used to the missing tooth look, and I'm going to still not be used to it because I was lucky enough to get a raft with all his teeth. Look at that. I'm sure there's a lot of you that got him like that too. I don't feel like I'm the only one that has it. But I'm just happy I got it. Because this is, you know, what I wanted. I'm I'm still... Out of all the different looks of all the turtles, you'd think it'd be Mikey that I'm still having trouble growing on? No, it's Raph actually. And his missing, missing, and his missing tooth. He's got a missing tooth. I'm just kidding. Um, so, yeah. I like the way his size look a little better too, like, I know that these size from the best action ones are supposed to be like the ones from the cartoon, but I just like the way these look better, you know? And then this one, I notice has a difference than the other side, it's got something on it, like wrapped around it, so I thought that was cool, you know, attention to detail, and then, you know, they're holding these figures. I mean, these figures are holding the weapons until, like, you do that. That's what I wanted to show. Like, you have to get them in a certain grip, in a certain rotation spot to get them to be, like, tight and not fall out. Um, so, heads up on that. Leonardo. I really love how this Leo came out. I think he came out way better than the glow-in-the-dark version of this guy. Uh, check out my my mutant mayhem review if you want to see a comparison next to each other um but here is the best action leo as well he's the best looking out of all the best action turtles in my opinion uh face mainly but also paint job and just the way he looks you know like why does leo always come out so damn freaking good maybe not always but most of the time and you know same thing on all the articulation. Everything I just did with the other ones is the same exact thing with all of them. Let me see if he get that now covering his face. That sword's about to fall out of his hand, I can tell. I'm gonna do a shake test. Yep. You failed the shake test. Meanwhile, best action succeeds. Winner! <laughs> I said I wasn't gonna do that and I did it. Domino effect. Is just so fun, isn't it, guys? Um, so this is why I said what I said about that. I think I'm gonna get a blow dry technique going on here for the hand. Blow dry the hand, and then just slightly place some pressure, squeezing it just a little bit, letting it go to dry, and then putting this back in, and it should hold much better. Um, I like that the ninja stars are on his belt. I don't know, you tell me. 
it's this is preference now they both look really good they really do but you know this just looks a little better in my opinion this looks, looks a little bit more like the way it's supposed to right now let's get into the accessories i haven't gotten into the accessories yet look how cool they did the accessories for the mutant mayhems we have the original weapon grids from the original playmates figures modernized meaning just a little smaller <laughs> oh my favorite one right here i keep calling it out every time i show it nunchucks microphones microphones nunchucks to each his own how you want to say it but i love them i took off the uh the staff with the spear on it the spear staff i took that off i'm working on that you'll see that later on for a custom um so yeah these are the other ones i'm gonna use the hook blades next those are the next ones i'm gonna be taking off but you know these are you know one per each figure i forget which one they came with who came with what but um this is basically it for their weapons so their accessories are all these weapons on this grid on these grids and then the weapons they came with that you've seen because i've shown you them up close um now these guys came with their weapons but they also came with accessory heads we got the accessory head that it came with and then the accessory head that was on the figure so leo and donnie here i really don't like the accessory head for donnie i think it came out really bad quality wise and i see a lot of discrepancies i see a lot of things that make my ocd just bug out and go no that's not going in my display case with all the bright white light to show every single mess up no thank you i mean also it bothers me that you can tell if you look closely i don't know if you can zoom in on that there's teeth engraved in that black there so those were supposed to be painted white and they went with black instead Urgh. i'm not gonna do it i'm just gonna leave it but it bothers me the standard head for leo and then the standard heads for Mikey and Raph, which came out painted pretty good. Not great, pretty good, pretty decent. Each turtle came with three sets of hands for best action. They came with open hands. Hi. They came with fists hands. Fight the power. Oops. And then they came with the gripping hands that they have in their hands right now because, you know, they're doing their thing. They're holding their weapons. We got Mikey's grapple hook because they each came with an individual accessory as well. One extra accessory. This is the grappling hook for Mikey. Then Donnie came with a pizza. And again, I've covered this previously in the video. Those headphones are from April O'Neil. They're not his. I just put them on there to match up with uh, Donatello from Mutant Mayhem. And then we got the sewer lid from Leo, which I really like. And then, you know, interesting enough, Raph is the only one that came with two extra accessories, a Ninja Star and a spear that's supposed to go on a rope, I believe. It's a rope spear. I'm, I'm bad with weapon names. Um, so yeah, that's gonna be it for their weapons and their accessories. Um, I think I measured them already too. And if I didn't, I'm gonna do them right now. Let's do that right now. Even if I measured them, I'm measuring them again. Again, they are at five inches in height. Five and a half inches in height. About a little bit under three inches in width. And I would say Mikey, Donnie, and Leo are about two inches in width. And Raph, Mutant Mayhem, is under three and a half. No, I would say under two and a half inches in width. So these are pretty, they're not that wide, not that tall. Decently wide, decently tall. Um... Honestly, guys, here's the deal. 
these are 10 bucks a piece. These are like anywhere between 13 to 20 bucks a piece, depending on where you're getting them, when you got them. You know what I'm saying? It all depends on where you're getting them and when you got them. If you're getting them now, you're probably getting them cheaper. If you got them back in the day, you're getting them from way more. You know, and you know, then tax and shipping and all those things. I didn't have to pay shipping on them because I got, you know, free shipping from Amazon Prime, but uh, I gotta be honest, I feel like I got more for my money and bang for my buck from these guys. And the reason I'm saying that is because these are 10 bucks each and they came with all their accessories. They came painted and, you know, looking molded, crafted very well, like looking exactly the way they do from the freaking movie. And these were more money and yeah, they articulate better. So I like that, I like that. And yeah, they came with a little bit more for accessories. But when those extra accessories are not painted that well, it takes a little bit out of it. So in my opinion, I like the, the Mutant Mayhems just a little better. I like the way they look better. That's the bottom line. I just, I think they look better in the display case. These don't look that great in my display case. Every time I put them next to the SH Figure Arts or the, uh, uh, the NECA ones, it, I kind of cringe a little bit and go, wow, like, what am I doing with these figures, man? But then I look at them again and go, no, these are the first actual turtle action figures that I bought from my, my review collecting and from my collecting in general. So like, you know, I'm not, I'm not counting those little ones that I got from Hero Cross. I'm talking about like, like actual action figures here and I can't get rid of them. I have, they have a special place in my heart. That being said, I like these looks way better. And I like their prices better too. Yeah, no. All right. So what I'm going to show you now is what we're going to be looking at tomorrow. Which you can probably already see, which you've probably seen the whole time. Yep, there they go. That's all right. It's the end of the review. I don't care now. Domino all of them. And tomorrow, ladies and gentlemen, we're going to be looking at this bad Mama Gemma right here. I said bad Mama Gemma again. This is the Jada Toys Hollywood Rides 124th scale party wagon. I showed pictures on my Facebook uh, a little while ago. And now I'm going to be doing a review on it. And show you guys if I can get the turtles to fit in there or not. Heads up, I kind of can. See you tomorrow. Subscribe. And peace, peace.